everyone, this is Jenna Stones coming to you with a brand new build. Uh, this was a build commission by the owner here. Uh, she asked for a cute fairground, so let's not waste time, let's go right in. So here we are, we have the Happy Mouse Fairground. Now this build is very, very pink. <laughs> the owner is a big, big fan of pink. Uh, I get a lot of questions why it doesn't say my name on the in front of the house because it's not my house. Basically, I'm building for people and uh, I put my sign here just to show in all my builds that it's done by me. So this is where I put it this time. Here you go. Now let's just go ahead and tour this build. You have the entrance over here with the cute little mice everywhere. Now you'll see this is the main theme. You have this little mouse recurring everywhere in the build. Super, super cute. Here you get your tickets. And the entrance is right over here where the gift shop is. So if you have kids, you bring them in, they know right away that they're leaving with something because there's a gift shop right here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open the door. Alright, so here's the gift shop. Now, there's no grinder. Uh, normally I make builds that have grinders, but this one does not. It was not requested, but uh, I shrunk down a lot of items that are in the editor, which, you know, have the tasks available. So you have the food bowls, the water bowls, the beds, the showers. They're all available in the gift shop if the owner needs to use them. And a little register right here because this build was expensive, so she might need some donations. That's where you're gonna put them, right here. <laughs> All right, and expensive. I don't even know how much this cost, honestly. I just kept building and building until I hit the build limit, which I did a couple times and had to go back and delete a few things just to make sure that I had enough money to finish the build, um, which I did. So let's go back out here. Now, there's a lot of fun stuff in here. I tried to keep it as interactive as possible because obviously it's a fairground. Uh, we have the bumper, bumper cars here, which the owner suggested. And seeing as this is the racetrack house, you can equip cars. So what we do here is we equip the bumper car. And yep, tall enough, let's go. So here is the bumper card ride. Now you'd go ahead and equip a bumper car here. It would be a lot more fun if I could show you with somebody, but I was so excited to record it that this is what we got. So let me go bump into a wall for you guys just to show you how fun this can be with other cars. Boom, there we go. So this is the bumper car ride. All right, let's just jump on and out of here and exit. All right, I don't even know what to show you guys first. There's so much stuff. All right, how about the donuts? How about the donuts? These are Noni's favorites. There we go. Let's zoom in. Happy donuts. We have icing, iced coffee, anything you like that's sugar and fattening is right here. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the games now you you'll probably recognize these games you have the balloon pop you have this uh, ball toss game which i'm terrible at i can never win this game you have the prizes over here hanging up and on this side we have the water gun which i adore i love this game in real life whenever there's a fairground this is the only one i'm playing so here I added pianos, just so that it looks like you're actually playing the game. Super cute. Now I ran out of items, so this one's close. <laughs> Indefinitely. <laughs> Alright. Now here we have another game. Uh, it, this one is a carousel. It's not a traditional carousel, no horses, because I wanted to keep it kind of fun. So I added the conveyor belt at the bottom just so you can actually ride on it like this. Oh, it's gonna give me a hard time now. There we go. <laughs> so 
So this is a kind of little interactive game that you can play on, a little ride. All right, let's get off of there. Was I tall enough? Oh yeah, I was good. Okay, great. So let's go check out another game. Right here you have a little aviator game. Now this doesn't move, but I'm hoping that one day Adopt Me gives us, you know, animated items that we can actually use to to move through places, you know, like a little train rider or whatever the case. I, I have my fingers crossed. <laughs> so that's a little airplane ride. Over here we have the big boat ride, which is unfortunately closed. Sorry guys, can't ride on this one. It's just for decoration. And over here you have a view of this massive carousel shower. And like I said, I hit limits, so there wasn't much more I could add, but you know, 4,000 items is, is a lot. It's a lot of stuff. So here you have the bouncy castle. That's fun too. All right, let's go check out the last game, which is probably gonna be the favorite game. Do the line, do the line. No, we're not doing the line. Let's skip the line, let's go. So this is the racetrack. Maybe I'll get a better view over here, hang on. Let's get a better view of this. So here's the racetrack ride. I used a lot of the, uh, the items from the racetrack section of the editor just to have the decoration matching. And of course it's pink. I mean, it, it can't be any other color in this build. <laughs> so let's choose a car. Sorry, there's no pink in here. Let's go with red. I love red. There we go. So this is the racetrack ride. It's going to be a lot of fun when she has people playing with her in it. Now, I, I'm really bad at this. I'm going to smash a bunch of things, and when I do, I'm going to ditch this cart. Here we go. Oh, I did pretty good. I, I re-recorded this uh, the first time. I kept smashing into things, and I wasn't happy. So that was a pretty good run. I'll take it for a win. So that is the racing game. That's going to be a lot of fun for people to join her and play with. Now I have one more thing to show you over here, which is the restaurant. So here you can go in, let's open this up, get a cheeseburger, get a hamburger, get a soda, have a seat. I added the little burgers. Now this is just literally just a sphere and a disc and it looks like a pretty cute hamburger. So you can sit just to AFK or puts around. This is the kitchen over here, grilling up some meat. Now let's get on a pet and show you. I should, probably should have chosen a pink pet, but you know, we'll go with this one. Since it's Halloween, we gotta take pumpkin out. So this is, oh gosh, do I know how to fly? Yes, I do, okay, great. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Okay, so this is an aerial view of the fairground. I hope you really enjoyed this build. It was a lot of fun to do. Uh, the next one should be my Halloween build, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, if you want to see that first, don't forget to subscribe. It's coming either Thursday or Friday. So stay tuned. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.